Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to do like a product review. Uh, it's the Inkbird uh, Wi-Fi ITC308 Digital Temperature Control Thermostat. Um, they make these in several different uh, models. This one has the Wi-Fi. Uh, you can hook it up to, to your Wi-Fi and then you download the app and then you can control it from your phone. Uh, it'll give you alerts when it gets too hot or too cold. Uh, it does have heating, <coughs> heating and cooling. So you can run a heater with it or you can run an air conditioner with it. Um, or, or whatever, like heat tape or whatever. So um, I've had a couple of these for a few years. I bought them because they were cheaper. And I tried them out and they worked great. I've never had one fail. So when they came out with a Wi-Fi, I decided to go ahead and pick that one up. I love it. So I just ordered another one. Uh, they're on Amazon. Um, here's a picture of the Amazon. Right now this one is currently $50. The non-Wi-Fi one is going to be $35. I actually picked this one up on Amazon last week for $38. They were both on sale. So watch for sales. But uh, let me show you the one I have set up and then I'll do a kind of like an unboxing here. So the one I have this is the one I have. It is hooked up to my air conditioner unit. Uh, this is the temperature that the air conditioner will turn on. Um, and this is the current temperature that it is now. What's nice about this is that you can set a delay for the compressor for the air conditioner to turn on for about two or three minutes um, before the compressor kicks on so you're not burning up your air conditioner unit. All right, so let me go to the app and show you the app. And here it is. The app is this right here. So let me position this a little better. All right, so current current temperatures 83.7. If I click this, it says it's in the heating mode, and here's my set point right here. So I can click this. And I can scroll it down. So right now it's 83 in here. I'm going to set it at 80. And as soon as I do, it will kick on the air conditioner. Well, if I can use my finger. Oh wait, I just got to click that. There we go. So now it's clicked on. So now it's it's going to go into the cooling mode. Wait, it didn't it didn't take. Let's try. All right, complete. There we go. I got it that time. All right, so now it's going to turn on the AC, which it has. And it's going to run for a couple minutes before it kicks that compressor on. And so now my set point, you can see on the actual unit, is 80 degrees. So now I want to change it back to what it was. I just click this and scroll it back to 85 and then complete and it turns it off. Back to heating. I haven't used it with a heater yet. Um, I still have herp stats for my heat um, but it does have a plug for heating so I'm going to set up and do a little unboxing of it. All right let's get this bad boy open. Basically, your instructions <coughs> tells you how to set the, the temperature and stuff. <coughs> All right. Really, not much to it. So, here's your buttons, your set, um, your Wi Fi. It tells you how in here to hook it to your Wi Fi. You've got a five, um, you got a five foot probe here. This is your power and then here is your cooling and heating. The only thing about this I wish they would have done is separated this further because an air conditioner plug is about that big and it covers up the heating so you can't use it for both. This needs to be about an inch away from this one. Um, but if you were using just a fan to cool a room or something like that, you could do both. But that's really it. Uh, it's quite simple to set up. 
it's really easy to use and like I said I have had no problems with them whatsoever uh, it's a cheaper option to some of the more expensive thermostats and so far so good so thank you for watching this video and I should make some more soon